Welcome to the No Budget Native Film Cast, where we dip into the independent film universe to highlight those little films that you might not have heard about elsewhere. Will you agree with our panel? Or will our panel agree with each other? Tune in to find out. I am Milo Denison, and with me, as always, is Claire Milan. Hello. And Kahal Feeney. Hello. One of these times I should try to do that and see if I could do it in one just really long breath, really fast. I doubt I'll make it. Anyway, Claire, what did we watch this week? So this week, I actually wanted to sit down and choose, I chose an Australian comedy because I'm going through a phase at the moment. I, I've gotten into this new Australian series called Colin from Accounts. So I'm big into Australian comedies. Uh, so I, I searched this one out and it's called Hatchback. Um, it is directed by O'Reilly Sugars from a script co-written by Sugars and Chloe Graham. And it stars uh, uh, Stephen Curry and Jackson Tozer. Um, it's about a guy called Vince is charged with cleaning up a dead body for the mob. But it's a big job and he has to enlist the help of his brother-in-law, Ted, who has been visiting with Vince and his wife. But Ted, though amiable and chatty, is dim-witted and his presence is more of a hindrance and help to Vince. And Ted might just put Vince in a sticky position, especially as the urgency of his task begins to catch up with them. Um, I I actually really love Australian humour. I don't know what it is. They have some sort of rhythm in it or something. And there's so many great, like I love Kat and Kim. I don't remember that series. <laughs> there's so many great Australian like double acts. And this is, the, these two actors and these two characters work so well together. Uh, it, it, they are kind of very stereotypical. Like you have the more slightly intelligent one <laughs> and then the kind of more dim-witted one. And it opens with this body in a chair and uh, the one of the guys comes along in this tiny car and trying to get rid of the body. Um, that's the premise, really. Uh, I don't really spoil it too much. But what I loved about this was the pacing, um, how there's, I think there's only probably two locations uh, and just the whole them trying to get the body into the car and there's all this, these kind of comedic moments. Um, I thought it was very well paced, very well acted. And I love... Just the humor, and um, these these are terrific, um, terrific uh, com comedy actors. Uh, so, what did you guys think of it? Uh, yeah, I um, it's interesting because your that description that you just read tells us more about this film than watching the film. Probably. Uh, basically, it was like all I really got was oh, okay, two guys, guys dead. Obviously, they have to get rid of the body. One's a dimwit, the other's kind of like the enforcer guy. Um, yeah, it's, um, it was interesting. I, I imagine like playing the dead guy, like how boring that must've been yes. and like, and then you gotta like, but it probably was a lot of fun too. <laughs> Just I was the thinking dead. the exact same thing. Imagine getting hired as the dead guy. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, we need you to play the dead guy. You have no lines and you just flop around a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice little effect they did with the bullet hole in his forehead and stuff. Um, and kind of how they had the little reveal, and everything. Um, but the, the problem, I I, I kind of just found it a bit um, cliche in a lot of ways, like with the one guy that's the tough guy and constantly frustrated with his dimwitted brother-in-law that shows up with the wrong car and then kind of the comedy of getting the body into the car and that kind of stuff. And then like the gas station bit and all that. Um, so storyline, I really kind of felt it very cliche and predictable uh but you're right the, the the two's comedy timing was really good and they played off each, each other nicely yeah apparently stephen curry he's a very well-known australian actor apparently don't know if you heard of him i don't mm -mm. Know if I came across his name before he was in the castle or something but he's a very well-known actor yeah which, I him up. yeah, which, um, which, which one is he I the... think he's the guy i think he's the bigger one I think he's that a one. more dim-witted one. A dim one, that one? Yeah. Uh, Stephen Curry. He's a very I familiar think. name. Hey. Oh, there you go. The closer you yeah. get to the screen, the better it works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Curry. Yeah. Maybe well, he's actually Stephen Curry. He's a basketball player as well. So maybe that's, maybe that's how I heard of him. Oh, yeah. There's a very famous Stephen Curry basketball player. I was player, thinking, yeah. yeah. He was a, yeah, a star of the Olympics. Oh, you're doing much better than me. Oh, yeah. he's the grey-haired one. <laughs> Stephen Curry is yeah. the grey-haired one. But yeah, sorry. There's oh, actually yeah, a very no. famous Stephen Curry. I'm going to try again. The grey-haired, yes. It's yes, the grey-haired one. It's all in reverse. 
to oh okay that. and then it cuts yeah. in and out but i, I was wondering where i heard that name before but he's a very famous basketball player which is a different stephen curry <laughs> yeah. no the different anyway. gray haired yeah <laughs> anyway so to the review to the review so um this is this is actually uh seems to be a genre of film because it's the third film I've seen recently with exactly the same premise. Really? <laughs> you have hey. uh, you know, two kind of low level gangsters. Mm -hmm. You have the, the the sort of the the clever one and the idiot one. It's it's it's, it's the sort of the typical good you know straight man comedy man setup, and in, in this case you have the 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 clever the, the straight gangster becoming increasingly annoyed by the bumbling incompetent idiotic psychic um and of the three of them this is the one i enjoyed the least actually oh really okay uh, interesting oh, and this is cliched and it's very difficult that's interesting why, yeah. why did you enjoy this the least i i i felt that it 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 was just too slapsticky it was too over the top it sort of it blurred the lines between semi-believability and you know, slapstick and that that kind of sucked the humor out of it uh so it wasn't because this was just the third one you've seen and you're like ah oh, i've done it yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean uh, the, 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 that that's a possibility that's a potential but um yeah like there were just certain aspects of it i just said oh, that's not funny like for instance when he was trying to he was worrying about hurting the dead body so you know that's that's that doesn't work as a joke for me I'm sorry. And also in the in the gas station, or the petrol station, as we say here, uh, when he was putting the gas in and the car pulled in behind him and he didn't know, I mean he didn't notice it. Ah, that just that just suspended this belief too much for me. Yeah. You know, it was obvious. It was just a it was a whole setup and it was leading up to that joke at the end. Just there was no subtlety to it. Yeah. And uh, and uh, that sort of uh, ruined it for me. I'm I'm with you on the car pulling up behind them because anytime you're in the petrol station, getting fuel, a car comes rolling up behind you, you're gonna turn and look at yeah. it. Yeah, I was yeah. expecting to see them for the way. Yeah, because you would, wouldn't you? You would. You absolutely do. Yeah. Yep. Especially <laughs> if you're kind of on edge, which you normally would be. If you, if you, well, if totally. You're, in this area, you're gonna be paranoid yeah. and looking around, and he's like, this car rolls up behind. Yeah. And he's like, eh, he ignores it. Yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. So you can see that you can see that joke coming, you know. It was not, it wasn't it wasn't wasn't funny. Sorry, lads. Uh, <laughs> good, it's good. To I mean, it was it was like it was like it was, it was well made. Like the the effect with the hole on the head and everything like that was good. Yeah, that was good um, but um, I just thought comedically it was it was it, it did miss the mark. Yeah. Well, a long pause usually means rating time. So unless anybody else has anything more to say on it. Claire, any more defense of the film? No, just I annoy break? Carl, which is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you achieved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been watching too many good films lately, so it's yeah. a relief. So. So it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah, I mean, you're seeing all those comedy films for the festival too, like, right? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, yes. you're you're a comedy short film comedy expert yeah. at this point. You make it really cranky. Exactly. Do you know the way yeah. you have so many comedies? It kind of like uh, you know, you tip over the the edge. I, I think that's it. it. Yeah, and Carl yeah. in general doesn't like slapstick comedy, does he? No. Do you? I don't know. Uh, no, probably not. I would mm -hmm. say not. Actually, it depends. Yeah. It was if it's an old black and white thing, maybe, but no, true. You know, I, I'm not. I've never found even growing up. I wasn't actually. No, we weren't in the, was it the Three Stooges and um, Abbott and well, Lauren and Hardy were kind of slapstick, weren't they? Yes, yeah, Lauren yes, this is Hardy. very big, like Lauren Hardy. Like, yeah. I, don't, like, I, 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 I was never a big fan of them, really. Yeah. I love them, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm kind of with you, Carl. Actually, I was never really a huge fan of slapstick. I appreciate oh. the comedic aspect of it and the timing, yeah, that you need to have to be really good at that. Like, I really yeah. appreciate it, but yeah, I'm kind of I'm like, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not. I'm not completely against it. Like sometimes, I don't know. You see, old Charlie Chaplin, and I don't know. He's, oh yeah. You have a, I don't know, a big plank of wood, wood, and he turns one way and turns yeah. another way, and yeah, that can be funny. But mm. uh, generally, I'd say no. Yeah, it's yeah, it's the timing. I think doesn't. Mm. But 
All right. Uh, well, back to this one again. Do you want to go first, Carl, or you want me to? Do yeah, I'll go first, and 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 for all, all the reasons I just said. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't particularly like it, uh, so I am going to give it two stars. Interesting. Yeah, uh, I'm with you, Carl. I, I am not a fan of it. Um, I like I said, it, there was the the gunshot effect was kind of cool. Uh, and the, I thought the the performances were good, but it was just it was just so cliche that I couldn't appreciate it. Um, so I got to go two stars as well. Okay. So for me, like so I love slapstick. I do appreciate it's kind of a no budgety film because it's only like two locations, and they work so well together. I want to give it four stars. Oh really, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I appreciate, well. Yeah, but I still enjoyed. I appreciated it as well. Filmed as well. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, great. Uh, it's called hatchback. hatchback because he gets a hatchback instead of a van like he's supposed to. And you sh- can check it out. Let us know, funny or like, uh, what do you think? You can reach us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at No Budget Show, or leave a comment in the notes below and let us know your opinion of this particular film. And with that, we'll say see you next time and goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.